leading compassion. Say to them, as I live, declares the Lord God, I take no pleasure in the death of the wicked, but rather that the wicked would turn from his way and live. Turn back, turn back from your evil ways. Ezekiel 33:11. Whatever you do, don't ever allow hard preaching against sin to cause calluses around your heart. Sin is the very thing that will damn countless sinners to a Christless eternity. Sin is the reason Jesus shed his blood. Every minister of the gospel has been chosen of God to preach the whole counsel. He is compelled to preach heaven sweet and hell hot. Mercy must be proclaimed as available and judgment certain. It is so true that our living Savior will one day be a severe judge. Concerning hard preaching, Robert South said, Ministers should threaten death and destruction even to the worst of men. They should preach in such a manner that it may appear to all their sober hearers that they do not desire but fear that these dreadful things should come to pass. Let them declare God's wrath against the hardened and impenitent. As I have seen a judge condemn a criminal with tears in his eyes, the true preacher of the word should grieve with an inward bleeding compassion for the misery of those hardened sinners upon whom God is about to pronounce his judgment. I live in constant awareness of how significant our span of life appears in the sight of God. In just a moment we will all stand before the judgment seat. This is what motivates me to preach the truth, regardless of how others may feel. Hear me. Any good doctor will tell you what's wrong in order to bring about healing. Any good preacher will talk about sin so that the hearers can be set free. This devotional was taken from Steve Hill's book, Daily Awakenings, and I pray that you have a blessed day.